Hello friends, welcome to Drawing with the Blakeleys. They call me Dad, and they call me... Nothing. Bennett Fett. That was nice. Alright, nothing. Um... That was nice. Alright. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, who are we drawing this time? I don't know. Bo Bennett Fett? Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Yeah. So close. Thank you to, well, this is one of the rare ones where no one commented and requested it, although I did have two students who uh, asked me in person. So you're, so you're so saying So thank you to those forcing, two fifth graders. You're forcing this upon the, us. Well, this isn't just random, though, because as we record this, we're just a couple days away from the premiere of The Book of Boba Fett. And as somebody who is a longtime Star Wars fan since the early 80s. The 80s! Mm hmm, since I was a little kid. Um, yeah, I figured why not. So, let's go ahead and start with Boba Fett's helmet. More specifically, the, the visor part, the part that he, that he sees through. And it's sort of. T-shaped, right? Gee. It's a Mandalorian helmet. Uh, just like the other Mandalorian. Uh, yeah, it's the same basic shape. So we're gonna have the, the sort of visor part here. No, that was a little messy. Go over the top of the helmet. Good grief. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> commenting on my own work as it goes a little bit off the rails in some places here. So we're going to come in here and do the side. I thought you were commenting on the dog fight that's going on upstairs. Uh, no. Although it does sound like our puppies are not very happy with each other. Yes. What? They're not happy with each other. But Dad, I thought you guys told me. Bennett, they're not viciously killing each other. They're playing. And I was yeah. like, okay. You're actually right. They probably are just playing. Mm, careful about bumping the thing while we're drawing here, buddy. Don't worry. I won't do anything that bad. Oh, you, you already did do it. That's why I made the comment. But you know what? I love you, so I'm gonna forgive you. You're gonna forgive me? Well, that's the that's the way that we do it. Darn, I was trying to shake the the chair, but I failed. So after I forgave you, you're gonna give me more of a chance to forgive you? Of course. There's his helmet, more or less. We get a little bit of his... More or less? What do you mean, neck? more or less? Right. Just what I said. You mean like his body? Like like some of his body doesn't exist? Well, I mean, none, none of it's real. It's made up, but... I mean, I know, but... The act no, of I mean, more or less is in... Um, you know, I could have added more detail or I could have added less. Uh, I am very sad. Because I figured out that OG Garfield voice actor died. Uh, Lorenzo Music. Yeah. What's his name? Yeah, he died, uh, a while ago, actually. Darn it, I keep figuring out that celebrities die before I know. Andy Williams, <laughs> Adam West. <laughs> Andy Williams? <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, he, he died a number of years ago. 2006? Yeah. I mean, that was before you were born. So way before you even knew who Andy Williams was, he had already died. So, so we're kind of doing more of the poncho... Um, poncho! Yeah. Sort of look to Boba Fett here. Oh, I never told Mom yet, but I think I might soon. That Andy Williams died? No. Something else. Okay, well anyway. Um, we got his poncho. 
And we gotta add some sort of folds and whatnot, wrinkles. Yes, our puppies are fighting upstairs. I mean, I could tell because I could hear Shelly's voice in the background, but... You know, what do I know? I'm just well, pretty a, darn little. I'm just a weirdo on the internet. Yeah, so you should okay, feel right at home. Who doesn't know how to hold his pencil properly? But you know, that's a tip top. I'm not sure that you're using that phrase correctly, but... What, potato patel? Yeah. Is, isn't that how you're supposed to say it? Uh, sure. Anyhow, um, I'm going to move on to his torso and some of the armor that he wears. We'll do one thing. At least what you can see. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Around the poncho. So you're getting a little bit of his chest plate armor here. Do a little bit of a shoulder strap coming through here. That's real crisp, mate. That's do you know what that is? That's real crisp. Crisp, huh? Crisp. Just like that rat. What, what do you mean, rat? The crisp rat. Like Chris the rat? No, the crisp rat. Crisp you know? rat? Was that what his name is? I thought it, I thought it, people were just talking about a rat that had gotten real crispy. Oh. Toasty. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be so weird in my jokes. People are gonna be like, "What the heck is he talking about?" Yeah, mainly because that meme is dead. Like it is so Wait, dead. It was a meme. It was I think? About a crispy rat? No, the toaster. Oh, well, it's just a reference to Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Boom, 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 boom. I didn't realize it had been memefied. I was. I, I owned Mortal Kombat back in the day. Mortal Kombat! <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Okay, come down here. Do some gauntlet action, glove action. Also, by the time of this recording, it is, at, it is one day after Christmas, aka Depression. Bo Boxing Day, I believe, is, I believe what they refer to it as. More than depression. All right, gotta get Boba Fett's those little things here on his thing. Sorry, my sons are having whispered conversation. It's kind of distracting. What? We're not. Mm-hmm. Charlie, mm -hmm. are we having a whispered conversation? You kept mouthing to me, but, um, hopefully not. See? Oh, okay. So it was not a conversation in that you were whispering to him and he was not responding to you. Yes. Uh, Dad, uh, do you know where the white crown thing of Bob is? Uh, yes. Yes. Yep, yeah, I'm pretty sure I know where it is. Why do you ask? Because I gotta fix up an error I did. An error? Yes. I thought we weren't allowed to make errors. Yes, but we are JK. Yeah. You can always make mistakes. Um, here it is. Thank you so much. Okay, coming back here. Gonna start doing some of these. God, I hate this sound. It sounds like nails on chalk. 
nails on a chalkboard. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Here. And then. So what is a Mandalorian? What is a what? A Mandalorian. Amanda who? A Mandalorian. <laughs> well, um... His first Ecuador turns into a DeLorean. There are... Uh, there's a, a planet. So if you are a person from Mandalore. But it's also a religion. It's also a group of bounty hunters. Oh, well, is that basically what Boba Fett is? Yeah, Boba Fett is, I don't think, and I used to be a lot more up on the, on the lore of everything, but I don't think he's actually, he's like a, a sort of a rogue Mandalorian. I don't think he's considered like a, a true, you know. Mandalorian. Nobody likes the Mandalorian. That's why he's an outcast. Well, he's, no one likes him, I think, probably because he's a bounty hunter. A lot of Mandalorians are bounty hunters, but... Boba Fett specifically is, I think, considered to be a disgraced Mandalorian. He doesn't, uh, you know, he doesn't keep his helmet on all the time. He, uh... Man, if I knew that not wearing your mask meant instant death or disownment, then I would have worn a mask, but... Screw Wait, are you talking about not wearing a mask at school? Yes. Well, that's a little bit different. One is, if you don't wear it, then the teachers will remind you. But then the other one is, if you don't wear it, then you're disowned. But anyway, uh, what was I talking about? I, I don't know. I don't know either. Ma mask mandates? Uh, I still don't know. You're talking about oh! school. Oh, I remember. Well, he might be a disgrace, but... <coughs> Ooh, okay. <coughs> Folks at home, he's coughing all over me. But from what I saw from the ads, he I saw him in a throne... Maybe, a... maybe he's got some redemption arc going. Like, Red Dead Redemption? I mean, that's not the only kind of redemption that you could have, but sure. <laughs> Anyway, I saw him with the woman's in a throne, so while while these Mandalorian bounty hunters are up there risking their lives, he's just chilling back, uh, basically retired, living out the dream. Well, in the um, original Star Wars trilogy, it's implied that he was eaten uh, by the Sarlacc. However... What's the Sarlacc? It's a... Uh, it's a giant kind of underground worm in the desert. All right. Slowly digests his food over thousands of years. All right. Um, so yeah, that. Anyway, before we get uh, too much more into this stuff, I think we should um, do some coloring for our old buddy Boba. Boba. Subscribe. If you like it, make sure to like it. Yes. Oh, I see. You mean press the like button. Yes. The logo on screen. And Just subscribe. Let, here, let me try it. How about how about you leave this to the pros? Alright. On your screen, you should see our logo. Go ahead and click on that to subscribe to our channel. Ring the bell and you'll be notified each and every time that we release a new video. Also, don't forget, while you're on this video, 
to smash that like button. And of course, if you have any suggestions for us, leave them in the comments. And if this video hits 1,000 likes, then I will personally teach my, my dog to bash Charlie over the head with a chair. Please well, no. on that note, uh, bye friends! <laughs>